Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing, two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay, guys, we have a common occurrence here. You can see we have some large clogged pores and, um, you know, some white heads here, some black heads. And this can be from solar damage. Sometimes the skin will kind of thicken, uh, Fabry Rakishow a little bit we see, which is solar comedones. And then some, you know, just acne here. So these are just some pretty good size white heads. I'm gonna come on this side too. Come over here and he's got some pretty good size black heads over here. So I'm just gonna open the pores a little bit and squeeze these out. Some of these, um, usually once we get that pore cleared, they can refill eventually, but it takes a while. But we're going to get him set up. Thanks to him for sharing. I'm going to open these pores and then we'll get these out for him. And on the blackheads, all I do is use a small tip of a needle here. But on the whiteheads, they're not open. Not open to the surface, we use a sharper tip of the 11 blade. A little poke on that one, sorry. Let's get it in down here. We have a little pinch on that one, sorry. So if I'm squeezing too hard, you let me know as we go. It does have one right by the eye there, we'll do that last. Now with these white heads here, we'll do just a little poke with the 11 blade. Just right at the surface and he's got one right beside it, a little vessel right there too. And I can squeeze these out with a finger squeeze. Usually some pretty good stringers come out of those. Good. Yeah, it's good to get those out. And they're basically just a small follicular cyst. And we'll get a band-aid for that one because he did have one tiny small vessel. You can see it was right over that one. But that'll make those bumps go away so you don't feel them when you're like washing your face and stuff. Am I not washing good enough? No, no, it doesn't have anything to do with that. You just have some solar damage sometimes. And a lot of times they won't. You want to give me a little Lido? He's got a vessel I'm going to cauterize here. You do have one vessel that was there. I'm going to give you a little shot to numb you. That way I can cauterize that because these can bleed a little bit. Just going to be one little pinch, okay? <laughs> Famous words, huh? Just to get you numb there. That's good. And now I can cauterize that. So this will just be one, you'll smell a little burn in there, not too bad. That'll stop that. A lot of times it destroys if there's a little sack underneath there on that cyst too. So that looks good. Perfect. Now we'll move to some of these cotton tip applicators for some of these other blackheads here. A little focus squeeze. You can see it's drier at the top, kind of yellow, and then white at the bottom. That's good. That one stung a little. <laughs> or your neck's hurting a little. Yeah. Well, I broke my neck a year ago. Oh, man. Yeah, if you need to move or adjust, you just go ahead and let me know. That's good. We get that out. He's got another pretty good size one here. How'd you do that? How'd you break your neck? Fell down the stairs. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Jeez. And the spinal cord is was okay? Yeah, right, so I, it's just old age. Yeah. I broke some ribs. Goodness. Six and stitches between my, right down between my eyes. Yeah, that'll do it. Gosh, some people, you know, go down the stairs and they're ne they never, they don't make it out, you know? They, they can really break something in the neck and it can uh, squeeze on this one. That one was a deep one. So you can see that's a two inch stringer there. 
Good. Yeah. You want to see? Uh, I can show you there. You can see the size of that. Holy magnum. Yeah, that's in there. Those are long ones. And it's just dead skin. It, it's called keratin. Those two big ones are good. Pretty good up there. Now he's got a couple on the other side. You can come over here. On the forehead, I like to use an extractor because we do have something to push against there. Surface bone of the skull there. Let's give you good. And that gives us a lot more focused push right where we need it. We did have one I'm gonna use on the eyebrows that can be kind of tender. So let's come down here. Q tips, thank you. These ones can be a little tricky in this area. This one's kind of dry. Might be hair in there too. See if we can do a finger squeeze. Roll that out. It's coming. I'm gonna make a little bit bigger opening on that one. So it looks like it's something dark in there. One little cut. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too too tender there. There it comes. Sometimes you really need a good focused fingertip squeeze. And we're getting the bottom there. Did look like there was a hair rolled up, which is common on the eyebrow. Good, just a couple more here we're gonna go through. That little hair at the bottom. And Q-tips. I think I still need to poke that one. Right there, let me just get one poke on that. So you got like two dozen, that's good. You'll leave lighter. <laughs> and you know, if these refill, I know you said you had trouble kind of squeezing with the fingertips. Right. Any time, you know, if you start feeling those again when you're washing your face, just yep. give us a call and I can get those out for you. It just takes like 10 minutes, not bad. That's good and right. See that hair come right out with that. There was one beside it too. Two clogged pores. Got some fresh sticks there. A little squeeze. Now down on the cheek, it can be hard, just because there's so much meat behind it. And you know, it's kind of soft. Not really much. I'll typically pull up and tighten the skin here, and then I can roll one against the other like that. And we get that. And I always check. A lot of people say, oh, he didn't get the bottom of the pour. I'll come back and just go and roll. Nothing there. That looks good. And he had one more right there. A little white head. Get that out. Very, very nice. Let's see if we can get this last one there, too. Lots of little stringers there. So it's common if you pull the skin here, there's one more blackhead there. Feel that pop a little. If we pull the skin, we can kind of see what's under there, pull it tight, and you can see a lot of those bumps that were there are gone. Even those big white heads there. It's two more there, and then one big one by the eye. I'm gonna see if he can tolerate that. Another blackhead there. Good. In there. So I'm gonna pull the skin kind of tight, a little squeeze. Kind of roll it against the other one. Very dry. That's why that felt a little bigger. That was good. Very nice. And I know we poked one more down here. Make sure that one's clear. 
last bit. And you see when I come back to those and we're pulling the skin, we see just a little bit of white left there. Come from different angles and get that last bit in the bottom out. You can move the neck if you need to there. And there's the last one. Very good. Okay, not full Favre Rakishal, but he does have some, you can see some solar um, comedones there. And then he also has just straight black heads. And there is a difference, and it's the thickening of the skin and the area it's at. Yeah, you can move around there. One more right here. Just a little pinch. Get his fingers on that one. Were you ever a smoker at all? No? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Smokers tend to get more blackheads too. It's common. Why? Nah, just you you produce less sebum. It kind of dries out, dries you out from smoking. Right. And that makes it kind of drier on the skin. Get a little bit left. I don't think we got that one. And that dry skin mixing with when there's less oil, that's how it causes blackheads and they start to get clogged up. That's okay. So let me see by the eye here. I think it was this side. You do have one right here. If you can tolerate, I'm just going to do one little pinch and then we'll be done. Thanks again for sharing because people are always interested in what causes these and what we can do about them. A little pinch. Good. And I couldn't do it without my amazing assistance as well. <laughs> there we go. I like the cotton tip applicators by the eye because it's very gentle. We can kind of just gently roll that and not a lot of trauma to the skin at all. So that's good. So that was pretty straightforward. Thanks to him for sharing. Um, these are just black heads, uh, some deep white heads, a little bit of, uh, you know, Favre Rakishal, which is solar comedones, but mostly just some clogged pores. You know, he's, he's had some issues with uh, accident and being able to use his hands. So it's good to be able to help him out, get those cleared out so they don't turn into bigger cysts. And then we need to cut them eventually and put in stitches. Some of those could have gone that way in the next five years. So it's good to clear that. And if he needs to do that every now and then, once or twice a year, we can do it. So thanks again for popping by.